Faisal was uh, in that time is four years old, so he appointed his uncle, Prince Abdullah, as regent. While Nuri aside, we are talking about these two versions now too much. Because the reality rulers in this time, I thought between 1914 until 1958, when the collapse of the North is under the hand of this persons. So Nuri Zahid was renewing the Iraqi state as prime minister. He take the cabinet like prime minister almost eight or nine times. And because the Prince Abdullah, the tutelage of the monarchy or the ruler of Iraq, also he have a control of the political life in Iraq in this time. So Abdullah, was the cousin and brother-in-law in the law of the King Ghazi. He served as the regent for the, his uh, nephew. And Nur Said was the Iraqi political during the British mandate in Iraq and the Hashimi Kingdom of Iraq. The international situation is changed in this time because the, first, the Second World War happened. And the Grand Britain have dominated in, in, in this region. The German also tried to enter in this part. They sent the troops also in the north of Africa. So the conflict also happened in, in Europe in this time. The movement of nationalities also tried to prove themselves in Iraq. And the government in this time was supported by Grand Britain. So there is some movement between the, uh, the officers of the uh, Iraqi army happen, leading by four guys who have the concept of nationalities. And uh, try the prime minister, Rashid al Gaylani, who have also the nationalities idea, who rejected the influence of the Grand Britain, who tried to make near of the the German also, because they thought the German, maybe they will support the Arab people after that. The German uh, propaganda never talking about Arab people that, not like talking about Jews. So we have also one uh, idea, is to defeat the, uh, the Grand Britain in this area. So Rashid al-Ghalilani, he take the cabinet of Iraq, and he tried to support it, the officer leaders in the armies who tried to also to make some kind of the movement against the old corrupt government. With the support with the armies, with the support with the, the bolding sequel, the four uh, leaders in the armies, he find a way to catch the cabinet of Iraq, and declare that Iraq now have a new cabinet, a new government, and I am the prime minister, new prime minister of Iraq, with the supporting with the, the officers of uh, the armies, Colonel Kamal Shabib, Colonel Fahim uh, Saeed, Colonel Mohammed Saliman, and also uh, the periodist, the journalist man, Yunus Sabah. So there has happened some conflict between the armies, the Grand Grand Britain armies, and the Iraq armies. And the Iraq armies, in the beginning, they are win many uh, compact, but because the Grand Britain in this time have too much power, too much armies, they are defeating the Iraq armies in this time. And Rashid Ali Gadali, the Prime Minister, fled outside the country during the crisis. The members of the government who has supported the influence of Grand Britain, like uh, Nur Said, he go outside the country. The family, the Manushi family also go outside the country. But after the conflict finished and the, the Iraqi army lost the war against Grand Britain army, and the Prime Minister Al Gaidani also live outside uh, the country the family of the monarchy retaining again to the Iraq. And 
the Prime Minister Nur al Said also take the, the position like the real leaders of the Iraq political lives. So during this time, the First World War was finished, and we Great Britain they needed to continue planning to control over Iraq. And now we should be renew the treatment. We should be making new uh, treatment according to this situation. Because after the Second World War, the Cold War started there. And this is region is very important. We are discovered the oil there. And the communist movement tried to enter inside the Arab region. And we are afraid in the future that the Soviet Union also have the uh, hand of Iraq. Because we know there is many movement, ideological communist, inside the Iraqi street. So we should be make a new agreement with the Iraqi government. This is the agreement is near Portsmouth Treaty, happened in 1948. So the Iraqi uh, negotiation with the Grand Medin withdraw from the country and the treaty called the Portsmouth was signed in January 15, 1948. The treaty proved for the establishment of the Joint British and Iraqi Defense Council that would supervise Iraqi military life. But this is agreement also rejected by the uh, nationalist movement inside the city of the Iraq. They don't accept the new treaties with the Grand Britain but the interest of the Grand Britain is to control of the oil fields, is to stop the interest of the communist movement inside the Iraq or inside the Egypt or inside, because now uh, the Grand Britain have interest also. They have military bases there in Egypt, in Iraq, a little part in uh, Palestine, especially after the conflict between Arab, uh, the Arab and Israeli also in part of the Jordan. So this area is very important. And Arab Gulf also. So they are afraid because the new enemy now is not the Hitler. Hitler is finished. The Germans finished. The new enemy of the Grand Britain now there, the communist. Among the three men of the treaty was that, that Iraq will be remind tied to the British for military supplies and the training which was not acceptable uh, to the Iraq's Arab nationalities. This is signals happened in the, after the First World War, meaning the Kingdom of Iraq now is almost is finished, or almost started to be weakness. The economy of Iraq country is very bad. The nationalities movement now is all the city in Iraq. The communist people also with the support with the Soviet Union started to prove it themselves and the kingdom now under the control for two persons. They are manipulating the uh, political life in Iraq. The uncle of the King Faisal, Abdullah, and the Prime Minister Nuri Assad. Also there are many effects happening in this time. I told you or I will explain the situation after the First World War or after 1950 and after that. Because if you remember in 1952, the revolution happened in Egypt and Jamal Abdel Nasser get the power in Egypt. And Abdel Nasser represent the nationalities movement and his characters have over the Arab people and they thinking this is the characters of the great leaders now in Arab country. The movement of nationalities of Abdul Nasser enter inside the young peoples in Iraq also. In 1956, the crisis of the Swiss happened. Abdul Nasser and his movement or his idea, he was against the imperialism uh, powers. And he, uh, he nationalizes, nationalizes the channel of the uh, Suez. And after he declared the nationalizes the channel of the Suez, uh, the great power, with the support with the Israeli, they attack Abdullah. But he still had the power 
of Egypt, and this is mean he will win this war. And this is very effect of all Arab country. They thought now we have a right leader who should be following him. And this idea of nationalist movement happened in Iraq Street. And the Iraq City told me now what happened what happened there, the corrupt of Iraq people or Iraq government happened too much and we needed to change the situation. The poor people now in the city, don't, they don't have a war, they don't have uh, something to eat, and the uh, power is under the control for two persons, Abdullah and Nur Saeed. And also, there are another fact, the Baghdad pact. The problem of between United States and Soviet Union the competition between these two uh, parts happened in different parts of the area in the world. So one that the United States tried with the Grand Britain make some kind of a pact to, to prevent Soviet Union to go inside the Arab uh, country or inside the Middle East in general. So they established the Baghdad Pact in 1955. This is agreement between Iraq, Iran, Pakistan, Turkey, and United Kingdom with the observation of United States. So this is not uh, acceptable for the city, uh, Arab city because this is mean the continued influence of imperialism in this area. So this is fact. Behind it, the Swiss Canal is like uh, make the people now make some kind of rebellion against a monarchy of Iraq. The opposition began coordinated in the activity in February 1957. Front of National Union was established and began the national. This is some front or some movement where are, they are existing in, in, the, in the Iraq city. People represented the party of Al Ba'ath party, communist party, Democratic party, all this make unity against the corrupt of the government. And also inside the armies started a movement uh, take the same concept where what happened in Egypt. In Egypt, the leaders of the armies take the power. So the leaders of Iraq army, they talk, why we don't make the same example in the armies of Iraq, of Iraq armies, and we can take the control and take the power and declare another kind of the system of Iraq. But in this time also happened a unity between Iraq and Jordan. This is the King Hussein when he was young. Because he was one member of the family, the cousin of the uh, Faisal, he tried to make some kind of federation state between Jordan and Iraq and declare that we are uh, the family, the Hashemi family, we can make some kind of unity between us. On the other hand, also in this time, Abdul Nasser tried to make some kind of the unity between Syria and Egypt. The, the Arab state unity, and this is 1958 and until 1961. So the monarchy tried to make the same example, make some kind to protect the Hashim unity. And this time, there are some crisis happened in Lebanon in 1985. The troops of the United States go inside Lebanon to protect the government there. So King of Jordan asked also, because the King of Jordan is they are afraid that maybe something happened also in Jordan, and they asked the military of Iraq to go inside the Jordan and protect there. But the leaders of this army, of one unit of this army, they rejected this order and they are going inside the Baghdad and declare we are new revolution against the monarchy. We are catch the palace of the king. We are catch all the members of the uh, government. They will, should be surrounded. 
And during the attack, the palace of the Faisal and his uncle, they asked the family, go out in the palace and in the garden, they put it there one to one and they are executed there in this garden of uh, the palace. And the prime minister, Mr. Nur Sahib, they are also catch him in the street of Iraq. He tried to escape, but uh, some people recognize there and catch him also in the side, inside the city and kill uh, his uncle also they killed. So the monarchy of Iraq ended and the Republic of Iraq declared in 1958.